Hello again viewers and welcome to the program Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney, your host. Today's topic is very, very dear to my heart. I have been for years advocating for this and I'm happy to know that there are other organizations that have taken on the mantle to educate solutions in that regard. I'm talking about the transitioning of the use of toxic chemicals to the use of non-toxic uh, organic chemicals, which includes fertilizers, pesticides. And that is done through teaching, education, research, um, demonstration, you know, advocacy. With me today uh, is a member from the Bellevue Farmers Cooperative. He will, he will tell you about himself in a little while and of course their consultant in that regard. So let me turn my attention to the gentleman to my right. Introduce yourself, sir. Yes, um, thank you, Mr. Sidney. I am Anthony Herman, and I'm the project coordinator at the Bellevue Farmers Cooperative. Great. Yeah, my name is Leslie Maguire. I am presently a consultant in um, occupational and environmental hygiene. And um, my part in the program was to uh, deliver uh, a course, a training course to various um, entities in um, basic toxicological um, training program that okay. I Great. delivered. Mr. Levin, I'm so happy that you are uh, championing that cause because for years there's been concerns that have been raised uh, at many, many quarters. The Ministry of Agriculture have been championing that through the Extension Division uh, through marketing agencies within the ministry and with other collaborants, trying to really get uh, the public to understand, uh, you know, the use of toxic chemicals. And I'm hoping that one day um, the use of toxic hazardous chemicals, or the harsh chemicals as I, as I call them, will be eradicated, you know, and then we will be looking at non-toxic chemicals, friendly chemicals that can be uh, use so that we can be safe, our kids can be safe, and the generations after us can be safe. So we now, I believe, have to champion that cause, and I'm happy that the Bellevue Farmers, together with um, the German government, is assisting Jeff, of Jeff mm -hmm. is assisting you all in that regard. And uh, so give us a little idea of, you know, how did this come about and where you are today? Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Sidney. Well, um, as you read. Uh, the project is about transitioning, and, and transitioning is a is gradual process. Mm -hmm. And this project is funded by Jeff, and you're working with a number of other strategic partners that will help us to implement as well as to co-fund. This project aims to do a number of things. In the first instance, it's about training about seven farmers, seven, uh, organizing seven farms. Mm -hmm. So after a period of two years, we are going to have seven fully functioning organic farms. Then there will be four schools that will also would have transitioned from the use of toxic chemicals to non-toxic at, at the level of the environment. We are planning to expose a number of community leaders, housewives, extension officers, and a number of persons in the, in the whole question of the, the, the dangers of harsh toxic chemicals to human health and the environment. Mm -hmm. At the end of the two-year period, a, 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 a functional booklet will be presented for persons who are interested in starting organic farming. And we are going to look at this by, by bringing in a two to three day symposium which will probably be the first of its kind in, within the OECS, where we'll be inviting a number of organic practitioners, researchers in the organic field to come to St. Lucia for a 3D workshop to talk about their research 
and so on, and especially to look at breaking myths that organic, organic farming is expensive. And throughout this process, the plan is that after that period of time, we will have a functioning organic farmers network that will continue to champion the cause of organic farming. But how did you all come about with this project? What, what, what uh, gave you that, 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 that uh, push? What, what, how did that seed so, was sown? For a while now, at Bellevue, as a cooperative, we've always been very involved in innovative work. And uh, as a marketing agency also, we've recognized that we are now in a global village. Mm. There's no protectionism. You can't protect the farmers from anything or anywhere in terms of, of commodities. So we had to come up with ways by which we could stay in the market. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways we saw by which we could do this is the introduction of organic farming, which first started with a Jeff Small Grants program where we went into composting. Then the Germans came around and we brought that to another level. And now we are in full, broad area of organic farming. And the whole idea behind this, Mr. Sidney, is that at the end of this two-year two period, St. Lucians will be able to walk into the supermarket and purchase organic, well-packaged commodities, the cabbage and the carrots and everything, as well as, in, in our the view of Bellevue, the hotel industry, which is very competitive worldwide, we hope to give them a, the St. Lucian product and edge by our visitors eating wholesome, organic foods when they visit our shores. Great. Now, to take you to that level, you need, of course, the technical assistance, mm -hmm. I'm sure. And, of course, that's why I, Lesmo is, is here. Lesmo, yes. tell us how, the, how, how, how did you get involved in this project? How did I get project? involved? <laughs> well, you know, as a consultant, how you get involved, you see, there's a call mm -hmm. to do, the, to, to do the, a job, mm -hmm. and you bid for the call. Mm -hmm. And I was accepted by uh, providing the uh, requirements that was needed to do the program. Mm -hmm. um, very, very nice and interesting program because we, we have to begin, f we have to start from the beginning mm -hmm. and talk about chemicals for once. Mm -hmm. And um, what has happened to us, we've had two world wars and after the two world wars you had a proliferation exponentially of chemical manufacturing, both from pharmaceuticals to industrial to use on the farms. And it, by the end of the 60s into the 70s, the people said, hold, hold on, something is wrong. Silent Spring, Rachel Carson <coughs> identified, that's why it was called Silent Spring, because uh, the birds were not singing anymore. Mm -hmm. Things were happening. And they said, hold on, something is wrong because we use extensively in agriculture, pharmaceutical industry, our cars. So people started to think different. And the whole idea of the word greening mm -hmm. or organic, so to speak. Organic there meaning not devoid of chemicals, but it's, it has a, a more psychosocial meaning, right? In essence, you cannot have a purely 100% organic yes. farming. Yes, it's difficult. Uh, let, let, let's be let's truthful. Be realistic about let's it. be realistic. Yes. But what we're trying to do is to make people understand that by your reduction or your knowledge base of the use and the misuse of chemicals are enhanced. Mm -hmm. So you'll know how to use it effectively, mm -hmm. how to use it beneficially, than to just use it, you know, quote unquote, madly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, it was interesting to know that the topic that was chosen, right, uh, the uh, toxicological training, uh, toxicity, the study of poisons. Mm -hmm. Virtually, this is what yes, you're doing, yes, yes, yes. regardless of how you put it. Mm -hmm. Now, in essence, you had to look at environmental toxicology because when you, you, you as opposed from medical uh, toxicology, mm -hmm. where you look at basically the systems that have you feeling unwell or disease-related systems. For instance, the majority of our illnesses and our disease, diseases are basically not very few are being genetic or 
inherited. Okay. Well, most. Well, let's point with our first break. Okay. You're watching Agriculture the Mover. We do for our first break. Stay tuned. What's in the food you're eating? Do you really even know? All the chemicals and hormones used to accelerate their growth. All the artificial flavoring, sweeteners and colors too. We consume and we don't spare a thought for the damage that they'll do. The that no, they do. think about the children. Think about the children. How will we save them? Chemicals and GMOs are not the solution. Use organic and join. Excessive agrochemical use, additives, and genetically modified foods are harmful to health and the environment. Join the good food revolution. Grow, buy, and consume organic. A message from Rice St. Lucia and the Ministry of Sustainable Development with funding from the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. The good food revolution. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. You hear about toxicology, toxicity, poisoning, you know, that's all it is. And let's move on, continue. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, so you have your lifestyle, the environment, your occupational occupation can actually be detrimental to your health, mm -hmm. so to speak. If, and you try to find out, because why chemicals? Because chemicals have, because of their what has happened is that there are insufficient information about what is good or bad about chemicals. Mm. For instance, the volume that, have been, that has been manufactured for the years extreme, outweigh the volume that has been, that is being utilized. You, you see, um, not utilized, but being researched mm -hmm. uh. because of the level of the number of schools researching, where they are re being researched and what. Mm -hmm. And you must understand, in the early 50s, anybody with a first degree in chemistry, well, you, you they making chemicals, mm -hmm. you understand, because mm -hmm. it was needed. But right now you have governments like um, United Nations, different departments within the United Nations are so concerned. You have like persistence organic chemicals and what they have done. Mm -hmm. Right? You have heavy industrial chemicals. Even our everyday use of, um, say for instance, you know, high, high volume chemicals like paints. So the concern is there and it's coming at you. And it is, it's, it's important for you who are the consumer to know how to use it mm -hmm. and use it to your benefits. Use it safely. Or, or, or don't use it at all. That's right. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Three little words, use, misuse, ab or abuse. It's yeah. going to come back at you. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we take, for instance, water. Uh, when I carried out, the, looked at water, for instance, we all have bottled water now. Mm -hmm. There are so many, uh, now research is being done into, into looking at even bottled water. What the, the th types types of bottles that are now being used, for instance, the, heavy, the plastic, the light plastic, how long they are on the shelf, mm. what's the quality of the water. You, you're on a very mm. simple test looking at the acidity of the water, you'll find that some of them are extremely acid, acidic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you drink that water and you're, and you're suffering from uh, stomach, um, acid stomach, for instance, acid reflux, acid reflux you keep, yeah. you're putting yourself in trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Something very simple as that. You don't know, yeah, you know, uh, BPA and substances that are found to be in this. So what we are trying to do is to make people be aware, to have them inf inform properly that they make good, mature decision. That's right. Yeah. When you go, I mean, take for instance, uh, during our um, training program, yeah. there was this lady who I, I who used um, the everyday uh, hand, clean, sanitizer. Hand, hand sanitizer, and we said, "Listen, she, we took she used that, and I and the material that was in the hand sanitizer, the active ingredients, the active ingredients. When we looked at the active ingredients." We call that the MSDS sheets, the mm -hmm. material that is applied, right, the, about the chemical, mm -hmm. the user. We were 
amazed to find that that chemical that is being used in the hand sanitizer has a lot of ill health effects. Oh. Now, if you're using this sanitizer every day, and the sanitizer was only used in case of emergency, say if you stop it and you, you're driving from it, if you fall right, and something right. catch you, you want to just run and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. well, you're going to wash your hands later on. Mm -hmm. you, you, you understand? Mr. Magua, mm -hmm. and you know now, num almost every child has a little bottle of hand sanitizer. Yes, and and it's in the bag. Yeah. 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 You, you, you understand? Yeah. And it was yeah. meant to, to be like an emergency. An emergency. Yes. Yes. Uh, there, there are lots of little things that when I t take, take, for instance, your, the steering wheel of a car. Yeah, right. Right? You have it. It's been made of some plastics or it's been made of leatherette. Mm -hmm. it, it gets sweaty. It gets heated up. And it gives out some... It gives out... The high mm -hmm. volatility volatile organic material yeah. not only that it becomes a bed for other types of organisms. biological organi or mm. organisms mm -hmm. that you don't even know you drive and you just eat while you're driving mm -hmm. and when was the last time you, you actually passed yeah. mm -hmm. a disinfectant or something like that on your mm -hmm. on your steering, steering wheel, wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are little yeah. things that you have people to yeah. understand, you know, mouth to hand, yeah. mm -hmm. washing your hands mm -hmm. and how frequent you wash your hands. Mm -hmm. So basically, when we talk about environmental toxicology, we are looking at these poisons, how you can prevent them getting into you. Mm -hmm. So specific to 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 um to Bellevue, what what's how is this training being done in terms of how how was it organized? I mean, uh, I'm sure you you have farming training programs. Is it yeah. is it indoor or you do both indoor outdoor? How is it done? Actually, the the the, the toxicology workshop was about creating awareness. Okay, because we are talking chemicals. That's right. And. Uh, the, the training is, is, good to, is, is three parts, and we're using the training on the sub theme um, soil health mm -hmm. is human health. Okay. Because for years we've been feeding the soil with fertilizers and chemicals, mm -hmm. for the, but it's the plants that use those chemicals. Mm -hmm. The soil does not make use of those chemicals. Mm -hmm. Now, Belvi and Jeff is moving in the direction of providing soil health training. How do we protect? How do we preserve? How do we improve the quality of the soil? And that's going to be done through training. A number of training workshops have been planned. We have a consultant that is just working on this for us. We also have uh, another consultant that will be working on what we call alternative pest control. You remember the oldies, and what we're doing is using a lot of local knowledge. Mm -hmm. In the oldies, plants were, 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 were uh, pesticides on plants. Pests on plants were controlled by natural things in the environment. Correct. Today we are going back using those very natural things to teach the farmers and the wider solution community, the housewives. Mm -hmm. Take, for example, the gova leaf. In the old days, if you had a stomach problem, you're given the gova, the young mm -hmm. shoots. Mm -hmm. Bujon Guyav. Bujon Guyav. <laughs> that was to kill the bacteria. Definitely, definitely. And it is bacteria side to the gova leaf. To, to, stop, to stop what you call it, the right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And today, we can, we can use this yes. to protect bacteria on the plant. Yes. We have, we have the sour soap. Neem. We have the neem. neem. Barry, garlic. Barry. We have the garlic. Yeah, we, yeah. Have the we have the onion. We, we, we have all hot, of these. Hot pepper. Hot pepper. Yes. The yes. same way to burn your eye, to burn it the eye of, the eyes of those of, of the best. Yes, and, and what this training, what we are going to be doing is to train the farmers on how to use this. And they'll be, they'll be, the training will be intensive and creative. Mm -hmm. Take, for example, the schools. And that's why we are so excited. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the school garden is being sprayed by the agricultural teacher who is well protected, protected. hopefully. And the, children. and the children around. And the children are around. <laughs> God, that is and dangerous. And when they are not around, they walk in the next period yes. into that very environment. Yes, yes. The mist and the whole thing, you breathe it in. That's Lord right. have mercy. We're done with the brick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching agriculture on the move. We have it you for a break. Back soon. What wow. is biodiversity? When you look at biodiversity, it's all around. I think of biological and I think of diversity. What is biosafety? Safety measures for our foods, our products, etc. Biodiversity is the variety of life. Biosafety, on the other hand, involves the management of products of biotechnology, such as GMOs and LMOs. Biosafety seeks to protect St. Lucia's biodiversity. The terms biodiversity and biosafety are not interchangeable. Get 
familiar with these tools. Observe the biodiversity around you, the change in environment of food production, and sustainable growth. Do your part. Visit our websites and stay tuned to this station for more information on the National Biosafety Framework. Let's know, you have been the consultant, you've been doing the training, the workshops. Good, uh, briefly, what it entailed and okay. how many of those uh, we, persons that you have trained? Yeah, we were able to train somewhere in the region of 134 um, persons. Um, they were from different um, groups, different activity groups, d different skill sets and different knowledge-based people. Uh, for, for instance, there were some government uh, agencies, um, or extension agencies, there were some uh, businesses, uh, the commercial sector, there were some j farmers, there were some housewives. Um, uh, basically, they were from all over the island. Mm -hmm. It was help, held at the, um, and sorry, for some utilities as well. Okay. And the, it was held at the, um, Afflewis Community College. What we did, we had a series of uh, lectures uh, dealing about what's a, what is chemical, is the chemi what is uh, the difference between poison and remedy. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at uh, um, environmental toxicology. We looked at dose response, how do your body responds to um, things that is put in, in, into it, and the most probable parts of the body that can be affected, like you have target organs where chemicals can actually go directly into it. Basically, it, we also dealt with what's the government's action currently, what are the current conventions re relating to chemicals that they are addressing, uh, like Basel, Stockholm, these this, this things, and how activity, what activities they have, they have done and what they are doing right now. Um, uh, various areas like the pesticide board, what they, 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 they are doing. So we, we made people a little more aware of what we're doing at a national level, what has been done at a national level, also at a regional level mm -hmm. and international level. Who are the main actors? For instance, WHO, wh where do they put all their energies into, into uh, uh, chemical protection? protection. We looked at UNDP, U UNGF, for instance, mm -hmm. and all these people are putting uh, huge sums of money, huge exactly. sums of um, intervention into these areas. So we discussed that. We discussed their own role as a person involved in, in being more aware. For instance, um, from the air to the soil, mm -hmm. you, you know, the, the transmission from one biotic life area to another, from mm -hmm. air to soil to water, mm -hmm. what is happening, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, know, you know, to us and why we should be more concerned. Mm -hmm. We discuss about labeling of material, yes. understanding what, how, mm -hmm. to, how to read labels when you, when, you, when you go to the shop and how to access information about certain things that you see. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this way we, that was discussed and, and the, the use of the net. We also were exposed to something that was very, very unique, and it was the first time being used. Um, they had what is called a, a, a computerized exam at POPS, which was universal, international, mm -hmm. and, and from the United Nations. And they had to do this computerized exam on POPS, persistent organic chemicals, and they actually received the certificate. Okay, great. And they received the certificate that we have to actually get out and, 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 and have prepared and, and, and give to but the... But the main, the main uh, um, uh, nucleus of this exercise was to actually look at the transition, transitioning exactly. from the harsh chemicals to the yes. non-harsh non -chemical. non -chemical. chemicals. And That's making people be more aware. Awareness. Uh, uh, more awareness, awareness building. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sensitivity. 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 Yeah. Sensitivity. Sensitivity. And uh, allow them to... You, you see, knowledge is there. Mm -hmm. You, you, you know, it's a cloud, in mm -hmm. the cloud, mm -hmm. it's there. Yeah. How to access it becomes yes, an important issue, yes. Uh, yes. okay? Yes. And when you acce access it, what is the value? Mm -hmm. What part of it you want to use? Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Yeah. It, is diff it, it was, uh, most of them, for instance, it was, uh, let me just give you an example, like titanium, titanium dioxide mm -hmm. or monosodium glutamate, that's in everything, and wh why is it there? 
you 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 you, you understand why it is there and have people to, to understand understand mm -hmm. you, 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 you you know you you, yeah. you, you yeah. use fixed student and mm -hmm. on the box tells you one inside it contains zinc zinc is you know That's over right. zinc your body yeah. and yes. you, 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 over zinc your body yeah, yeah. 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 and if you use in fixed student every day for for 25 30 years you you you, you understand yeah, yeah. the warning is there yeah, yeah, yeah. and make them understand the value okay. but the, the other thing that's most important to me going back to you herman mm -hmm. is the the the, edu the knowledge of the consumer yes and it's very very risky sometimes we we, we don't understand and we don't know there are so many uh, is this cancer is prevalent yes, in the society? Yes, yes. Is it coming from the use of uh, con the consumption of, of um, vegetables that are laced with chemicals? We don't, it may be so. I mean, for me, it might be, I may say, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what it is, I mean, you, you, are you all really getting down to brass tacks to so tell the, and educate the populace, educate the consumer, you know, be careful where you, you buy your vegetables from whom i know from the ministry mm -hmm. point of view mm -hmm. we have tried to certify the the, mm -hmm. the, the, the producers mm -hmm. they have a certificate to show that i'm a certified farmer the vendors too are supposed to have uh, to be uh, to be certified so when you come in you, you know you know from whom you are buying be careful from who you buy your the, this this nice um, um 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 cabbage and the lettuce and so mm -hmm. because it, it can be stolen you know yes. the, the last thing yes. is very very yes. very high the yes. farmer can spray it for chemical yesterday it's and this guy can sell tomorrow and sell tomorrow or he the guy can harvest it for him tomorrow and sell it because it is stolen that's right the, like we said it's, it's transitioning yes and the whole question is that's why the workshop was about what we call trading five cohorts and mm -hmm. cohorts simply means various sets of persons within the, 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 the employment environment in the country mm -hmm. to create the awareness that, look, we don't know that for sure, that, that all the illnesses that we are having, the cancers, the lifestyle diseases, is as a result of those chemicals. But supposing it is, and right now, the, the, this project, this JEF project is about data collection, data management and information management right. to make the determination as was it the cause or was it not the cause That's right. so our people will now have information in their hands and with knowledge and information you can make informed decisions right. this and is what this is all about and a choice building yes. up a choice yes. building up a choice yes. Man, I, I am very happy that you all have taken on that, that, yes. that responsibility, yes. Herman, and of course with Lesmo as your consultant. Yeah. I think we need to continue this, but I hope it's not only, I know it's Bellevue, you're, you're, you're all down in the, in the south, but you, you all buy produce from farmers island-wide. Yeah. So I, I, I'm hoping that you will take this, not only be held in the south or the southwestern part of the mm -hmm. island, but then throughout the island. It's island-wide. Yes, it's island-wide. And we are yes. going to be touching the housewives. Yes. Teaching yes. them yes. what you grow in the backyard, That's how to sure. do it That's with sure. organic, organically, okay. uh, the schools. So, and, so your, and, time, your time frame is going to be for two years? With, in the first instance. The first instance. Yeah. Okay. Right. And, and by the end of two years, we are hoping that none of the schools in this country will be using toxic chemicals in the school. Great. Campus. Boy, thank God for that. We're going to get that out <laughs> yeah, man, and give God. them an alternative. Herman, thank you very much. And yeah. Lesmo, thank you very much for You're being on the program. I'm looking forward for results and yes. hoping you bring your back here, uh, which yes. is going to be a result oriented It is result oriented. Yeah. So I'm thanking you very it much is. for being here. Yeah. You've been watching Agriculture on the Move. I would like you to thank you for viewing the program as usual. And of course, I want to thank um, Lesmo and Herman for being here to enlighten you. And of course, maybe, you know, try and get in touch with them so they can tell you where you can be available for training mm -hmm. to sensitize yourself, avail yourself, because it's very important. Thank you again for viewing. Thank you, Duane, and your team. And uh, I'm Philip Sidney saying goodbye and see you again. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you, comrade. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.